So this is an attempt to uh, do some voiceover for my normal videos. And um, this game I played in Texas is an experimental code gate based deck. And I'm running mono eyes which means all code gates and I'm relying on the code gates to carry me through. Um, unfortunately for me I'm playing against the L, the logs, that kind of thing. And I start the game with uh, two expensive code gates. Fortunately I draw my gear library and uh, now it's a real time to play you see that uh, the game is going is about to go very bad for me very fast. So Riel immediately grabs uh, her code gate breaker which is a torch. It is already cost cost for turn, but even more concerningly she gets his coverage for his turn. So he gets torch for three credits on her first turn. When she runs my hand, I raise my lock field, which uh, is only costing her one credit per ramp. Um, it's not good, and as luck would have it, she hits immediately on the one agenda I'm holding my hand, while I have no credits to pay for the uh, C game. So she ends up securing three points first turn. Okay, it happens. Uh, I have two Will of the Wisps, my plan is now to use the Will of the Wisps to try and kill the torch before it uh, dominates this game. Um, unfortunately I have zero credits after raising that Lotus Field, so I need some economy fast. I draw a card that's not really useful at the moment, so I draw three I get the credits and I prepare the next turn to play the Lotus Field, the uh, Will of the Wisps. She runs my uh, R&D. Um, and she hits another the future perfect. Uh, I'm trying to play the Psy game, but it seems that I fail miserably and she managed to guess correctly. So, six points on the second turn. Uh, I only have three point agendas in my, my deck except the three encrypted uh, portals. So, I have no way, I have a really difficult game ahead of me. So, but I'm going to stick through this and see what I can accomplish. Um, on my turn, I take two more credits to get a little of this money and play a little bit on my HQ. So, hopefully, if she runs my HQ again, I'll be able to get rid of that uh, annoying torch. Uh, which will still leave me at zero credits, so, uh, but at least it will leave me a bit more protected than I am currently. She plays some uh, extra credits for a torch and does nothing else, so. I get an opportunity to jump to 9, which is exactly what I needed at the moment. My RD doesn't look very good, but I don't have any review. I was considering playing the Willow Wisp as an RD, but she's unlikely to actually break through that array, that uh, gear library. So I th think it's better to just draw a card, see if I do anything uh, I can wish. I draw an extra card and I discard the hero because uh, if she steals him, she trusts him here in the game, and I'm not going to avoid that. She runs the uh, uh, G, I don't raise it because it's only one credit for him to break, and I'm glad to keep my money for something important. Um, fortunately for me, uh, she does decide to run my HQ, which at this point I can actually use my will be to trust her torch. It's going to give me a bit of a breathing space until she finds another uh, 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 another test run to grab it back. Hopefully, it will be a bit of time until then. Uh, she hits my lag time, so I'm fine with that. Uh, I don't care if he sees it. Um, still, I need a good economy and I need to actually get uh, things uh, working. I, I play that genie on my R&D, in case he decides to run naked, uh, I will reduce her hand to uh, 1, so that might hurt a bit. Uh, unfortunately, she doesn't decide to run the, through those giris, and uh, never actually will, so that was a bit of a waste, but probably did uh, stop her from actually uh, going through at all, which is fine with me. Uh, I get another Will of the Wisp, uh, I plan to use it once uh, I get an opportunity. Um, 
So she gets the same old thing, you know, she can test run her uh, uh, torch back, but uh, I'm not too scared about it. She can only see one card in my hand. Um, and if this is a PC game, I have a good chance to not lose it. Uh, so he runs, he sees a toll booth, I'm fine with that. Uh, unfortunately, it turns much worse because he follows up with the uh, legwork, which I didn't expect, and she manages to avoid the agenda but hit both of my Will of Wisps, which is really bad because now I have no way to protect myself anymore. So straight to the two Will of Wisps. And the pressure is again on. Uh, fortunately, she only has two credits, and the torch is going back to her camp, to her R&D. So I have a small scoring window, which I'm planning to take advantage of. So I do a bit to find some cheap port gates, but I didn't find any. So I'm drawing more to see if I can find some economy. Nothing yet. So I decide to prepare the scoring server anyway, and uh, see what I can do. I know I have a bit of time before she can actually play that torch and get through the uh, toll booth. So uh, I don't want to just play the toll booth and uh, play the agenda score it, I actually want to uh, earn some money for it. So I am playing the three pointer and I'm taking another turn. She only has four credits, still no torch, and even if she plays torch she cannot get in. So I'm still feeling okay. Um, she goes, she managed to get through the torch for cheap by uh, using her modded. And does see the C game, but she is at zero credit, so it's easy for me to protect it. So no problem there. She does know I have another agenda though, so she is going to start hammering my uh, HQ. It means I need to protect it. So I decide to... Uh, uh, at the moment I decide to start making running HQ a bit more expensive, so like time goes down. So double is the uh, price of running through that Lotus field. And if she runs my remote, it's a bit more expensive. So even if she gets some quick money, I suspect she won't do that. So he starts gathering money and uh, doing nothing else. I uh, play and uh, score that agenda to get my free toll booth. And uh, hopefully now I can use that to score another three pointer. Uh, the torch is a bit of a problem, but now that she, she's so much down of money, uh, I'm feeling a bit more secure and I have a chance. Uh, she keeps running HQ, hoping she'll hit that Psy game. She has just enough to uh, play the Psy, instead she hits the Ronin, which is unfortunate, I wanted to use that Ronin to bait, bait her into running my remote server. This is not zero credits, it's the perfect time for me to try and uh, score my agenda. Uh, I'm preparing a bit HQ so that it's not as easy to uh, get through, and I don't want that hero to get stolen. Uh, she spends her time just getting money. Uh, I'm suspecting she just has an easy mark and uh, uh, sure gambling in hand that wants to play. Um, uh, it's a bit of a scary situation, so I want her to uh, I want to try and bait her uh, with a running, and if not, I'm going to use the running to smack her hand before playing my agenda and uh, to make it more likely that she won't have any solutions. To get through my uh, servers. So she does play that uh, Sir Gabby, yeah, gets more credits. Uh, I'm not sure uh, why she got an extra credit, probably to just be secure. And I raise all my eyes to make it uh, as expensive as possible uh, for him to get to run through that server. And uh, he spends all his money just to see and trust around me, which is fine by me. Because it now he now is, uh, is low enough that I have a good opportunity to score my uh, second agenda. So still I don't want uh, to uh, him to start running R and D uh, now that I'm uh, in the ropes. So I uh, put uh, my Akitaro on my R and D to be able to resolve the three eyes for chick. And uh, I have a bit of time to actually score uh, two turns to score that agenda if I can gather enough money. Uh, fortunately, he plays Katy, which takes all the rest of his money. He runs uh, archives uh, to check if I have anything left, anything that I discarded to avoid losing, to lose, any agendas that I want to not lose. Um, I have a very low quantity of agendas, so I don't feel very bad about it. 
And uh, now he's at zero credit, it's a perfect opportunity for me to try and score my second agenda. Um, still, I'm at five money, plus uh, with the, uh, uh, the economy in my hand, I'll be able to have just enough money to score the agenda and uh, Reza Kitaro if he decides to run R&D. Uh, the R&D eyes won't stop him, of course, but will be just a little bit more expensive than usual. So the agenda is down, I feel fairly secure that he won't be able to break in unless he holds a steam height in his hand and uh, possibly he doesn't. So he's going to continue building his economy and uh, preparing himself to steal any agendas in the remotes. Unfortunately for me, if he uh, hits, uh, if he makes that uh, cutting large and gets a lot of money, I don't have an opportunity to actually score. Uh, out of hand, so it will be really difficult for me to get to an agenda. Um, so we have to try and bait him into running my remote without the agendas. Um, so perfect, I get to score my another three pointer. Unfortunately, I draw another three pointer, uh, which is not what I want to see. I wanted, I would like to see a one pointer or something like that. Um, and at this point, I really do a big mistake. Uh, I need, I desperately need money, and then desperately need to make that server more secure. Um, so now I, I see another toll boot, I see that's my solution. So I decide to draw a card and try to play uh, my uh, celebrity gift without showing that I have an agenda. But now I miscalculate, I didn't notice I have only one credit, only two credits, so I don't have enough money to play the celebrity. Uh, so, I take the decision here to uh, play the uh, uh, play the subliminal messaging and show him the agenda instead. Uh, I'm betting that uh, if he runs, he won't have enough. I, I will be lucky not to hit the agenda, and if he runs, I may have a chance to uh, open a scoring window to get it through. Um, he does run, and I'll let you see what's going to happen and again pretty much goes down to luck uh, once he's running he goes down to uh, six credits uh, sorry eight credits uh, which is just enough to either pass uh, hero or steal the agenda so if he hits either of them it will be bad for me uh, fortunately i'm a bit lucky here so he doesn't he just sees a bottle size um, so now I'm in a really good position. Next time I'm going to play my agenda and score it behind the toll booth that I, the two toll booths that I'm going to have and I feel very nice about it. Um, so he runs again. Well, he can only steal the agenda, he cannot pass here anymore. And unfortunately for me he does see the one agenda in my hand. And that's the game. Um, I think this game is an interesting one because it just goes to show that even though uh, Again, was at six points from turn two. Uh, I stuck with it and he managed to get him at point, uh, at match point on my side. And uh, if I was a bit more lucky, I would have actually won this game. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this initiative to put some more commentary. And uh, hopefully, with more of this in the future.